Hey guys, welcome to the introduction to shaders in Cycles for Blender. Cycles is a render engine that comes with Blender and does photorealistic renders really well. If you want to be able to use Cycles, you want to be able to understand shaders. Now, shaders are basically what make up a material in Cycles. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that in a second. First things first, you'll notice I brought up this materials tab for the Blender render, and I wanted to show you what this Blender render material tab looks like before we switch it over to Cycles so I can show you the difference. Now here we have a little bit of a different view. You may or may not have preview open. You can go ahead and open that if you want. But the surface here, it'll say use nodes. So we're going to go ahead and click that because Cycles is a node-based engine. And you'll notice it says surface and we're going to have a drop down menu of different shaders available to us. So these are what shaders are and materials are made up of these shaders. You can actually mix these shaders together, for example, the mix shader, um, and you know, add them, manipulate them in some way, and then output them to the materials. So what is a shader exactly? A shader is basically an algorithm that follows a certain look. So for example, we have a diffuse shader, we have a glossy shader, as you can see here, we also have a uh, glass shader, and all these shaders can be combined to create a specific look. Now, remember when I said that Cycles was a node-based engine? I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick what that means. And so I'm going to go ahead and drag up this panel here and change one of them to the node editor, which is right here. And you should be able to see something like this if you have a material output node and a shader node, whatever that might be. Right now it's glass. If you don't see this, you might want to go down here. This is the shader nodes, this is the compositing nodes, and these are the texturing nodes. But you want to look at the shader nodes so you can see this shader node setup. And yeah, I'm going to go over how to actually use the node editor. It's very simple. You can drag any of these things here. You can delete stuff, add stuff. You know, you can go to shader, go to diffuse, connect that. And you'll notice it does basically the same thing here. So if we were to do, for example, a glossy shader, it just replaces this node. But yeah, that's what it means to be a node-based engine. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about how to use the node editor in the next video. And that's it for the introduction to shaders in Cycles for Blender.